This is one way of how to construct a push-down automaton to a context-free grammar so that both accept the same language. I wrote down a definition for you, but I will help you to read it and I will draw the automaton for you. What the definition says is that we want to have a language that doesn't include the empty word, so the grammar shouldn't include the, the empty word. And the grammar should be in Greibach normal form. And this is the definition of the automaton. That uh, is the set of the states. And the automaton does just have one state named Q. This is Q. And the set of terminals is the same as the set of terminals from the grammar. The set of stack symbols shall be the same as the set of non-terminals in the grammar. That are the um, transitions um, that uh, which are defined later. This is the, the initial state that is of course Q because we don't have any other. The color bottom symbol shall be the start symbol from the grammar, and the set of final states is empty, so the automaton will accept a word by um, with an empty stack. And these are the, the transitions, and well, they say, for example, you read a terminal, uh, in this case it's maybe A, I take this, this first um, production rule as example, so that will be the, uh, the terminal to read, and that will be the same as um, the left the terminal that's left of the right hand side of the of the rule. And then we have a non-terminal symbol, in this case, well here it's A. Um, here it says that um, if we are in the state Q and we want to read those terminal A, then we want to have we want to read those non-terminal from the stack. And that's the same as on the left hand side of the rule. And it says whatever is on whatever comes after the terminal on the right hand in the right hand side of the rule shall be pushed to the stack. So in this case it's B and C. So we want to define transitions. We want to read a terminal A, that's the same as the as the terminal symbol on the left hand side of the rule. Then we want to read a stack symbol that's the same as we, well, in this case it's the S, the bottom symbol, and it's also the same as on the left hand side of the rule. And then whatever comes in the rule after the terminal symbol that is what's pushed to the stack. So in this case it's B and C. And that's the same we have to do for all rules. Because the definition says, if and only if we have a production rule that is, uh, or any production rule that's element of the production rule, then there will be a transition for that in the automaton that's except um, exactly like this, uh, defined like this. So we have to do the same as we did for the S rule for every other rule as well. Next we have the non-terminal B that. Um, expands to the terminal B. So we want to read a terminal B. We want to read the non-terminal B from the stack. And because there are no other non-terminals following those terminal, we don't push anything to the stack. For the C, C rule here it's the same. We want to read a terminal C. We want to read a non-terminal C or the capital C from the stack and we don't want to push anything onto the stack. And then we have the last rule with the non-terminal C expanding to AS. So we want to read the terminal A. We want to read uh, stack symbol S. Oh no, sorry. We want to read well, we want to read the symbol that's on the left hand side from the stack. So in this case it's it's not as it's another C.
And what comes after the terminal A, that's what we want to push to the stack. So we want to push those S to the stack. And now we did everything that the definition told us to do and um, I will show you how the automaton works in another video.